So I have the seeds here. I have some topsoil. I'm going to take uh, two seeds for each pod. So I already have two placed right there. So I'm going to place another one here. Take another one in here. So the reason for that being we put two in, so at least we'll get one healthy seedling and then we can get rid of the other one. Just make sure that we get at least one healthy plant. So I'm gonna put two in each. So one, two, one, two. So we have all the seeds placed in all the pods now. So there's two in each, as you can see. Uh, so we're just gonna slightly cover them with the soil just so they're not too deep but just deep enough to be covered so I'm going to do that for the rest of these so from what I've read it should take about uh, 7 to 12 days for the seedlings to uh, start showing so don't be worried if uh, your seedlings don't show up in like two days after planting. Um, so keep doing that. They should always be watered. So there should be enough moisture in the soil uh, till you see the seedlings. And even after the seedlings come out, make sure you, you water them every day till they're ready for transplant, uh, transplantation in your garden outside. Um, so these have to be in the pods for four to six weeks after the seedlings come out before you transplant them so they're healthy and strong enough for you to be able to transplant them and them survive the uh, conditions outside make sure the temperatures outside are are in their high 20s and 30s uh, if it's too cold out the seedlings will die so that's pretty much it we have all the seeds under the soil now so the next thing to do would be to add some water and then leave them to be so i'm just going to add some water slightly Ideally, I would just use a spray spray can to spray some water on there, but uh, I don't have it on me right now, so I'm just using my uh, protein shaker, which is not ideal for the purpose, but I'm just making do with what I have. So that's about it for the transplantation. We'll come back uh, with a new update.